Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you have questions about skin health issues or skin health products or formulations or ingredients or something you may have heard about or read about, we can clear things up for you at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can call the bright side then phone team at 866-735-2470, or you can check out brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and purchase products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the bright side Ben team right off the website as well for a one-time $25 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business and just get your products at the wholesale price if that's all you want to do or you can make a little bit of money while you're doing it and of course you can also help change the world change the world one patient at a time one person at a time if you've enjoyed benefits from the longevity products share it with your friends you get paid for it and you can change lives as well if you want to take a look at our skin health products truth skin health products go to truthtreatments.com make sure you take a look at our retinol 5% gel as well as our truth serum truth omega-6 healing cream and truth balm all vitamin C enriched, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, wax, oil, silicon, no nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want, just 100% active and functional ingredients. Every molecule in our Truth Skin Health products is going to do something to make your skin look better, feel better, be better, be healthier, be younger looking. Every molecule, every last ingredient that I choose has some kind of beneficial effect on the skin. Only active and functional ingredients, that's all you should pay for when you purchase a skin health product in my opinion. And if you want to check out a really cool protein, go to brightsidehealth.com, brightsidehealth.com. That's my shopping cart. We've got several products up at brightsidehealth.com. But I'm really proud of our new bone broth protein, Jordan Rubin formulated bone broth protein. You can find out all about that one at brightsidehealth.com, uh, brightsidehealth.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. Last we spoke, we were talking about the transdermal through the skin benefits of getting DHEA into the blood by putting it on the skin. Transdermal penetration, using, uh, raising your DHEA levels by using DHEA cream. In fact, there's a lot of advantages to using steroidal substances, be they progesterone or DHEA or estrogen or testosterone in a transdermal fashion as opposed to taking a tablet or a capsule or as they call them, trochees or lozenges or a sublingual. Sometimes you'll see sublingual hormones. For one thing, when you go transdermal, when you use a cream to up your steroid levels, your DHEA levels or whatever steroid you're talking about, you get sustained and steady blood levels, unlike the oral route, which gives you these spikes, highs, and then lows. When an active ingredient, particularly a steroid, is used topically, you get long-term sustained results. This gives you steady blood levels. You don't have the ups and downs, the rising and falling. 
The second advantage is you bypass the body's protective system in the liver. Typically, the liver will detoxify things that you eat, whether it's a medicine or whether it's a, a steroid that you're using, an oral steroid, or whatever, nutritional supplements for that matter. So you bypass this effect, it's called the first pass effect, and you bypass it when you use a cream. DHA is often included, as a matter of fact, in steroid creams and estrogen creams and testosterone creams to support the effects of the other hormones. DHA acts as a raw material for the body to increase production of building and youth enhancing hormones. And then you get all the benefits of the DHA too. You get the anti-aging health benefits, you get the fat burning, you get the weight loss, you get the improvements in cognitive health, sexuality and libido and blood sugar control. So you get uh, you upregulate your own steroid hormone, so you boost up the you boost up the effects of the testosterone or estrogen that you're using, and you get DHA benefits too. Combining DHA with estrogen, by the way, can be especially helpful. DHA is a raw material for estrogen, so it can support the activity of your estrogen cream, and it can allow you to lower your dose on your estrogen cream. Estrogen's got a dark side. Estrogen is far from just this benign youth promoting hormone. It's probably the most, the most problematic of all the sex hormones, at least when it comes to dosing or using, the, using it medicinally. Estrogen is a growth and stress substance. It can put a burden on cells. It can actually induce cancers as many people know. So when you use DHA in your estrogen cream, that allows you to lower your dose of estrogen. In fact, if you're considering hormone replacement therapy with estrogen, or for that matter, testosterone, you might want to try DHA first and see what happens. And then if you still want your estrogen or testosterone, you may be able to get away with a lower dose, which is always a good thing. DHA has benefits on its own for female health issues, not just in terms of supporting estrogen. It's especially important, well, it's important for a lot of female health issues for the ovaries, but it's especially uh, important for osteoporosis, especially osteoporosis associated with menopause. According to a 2009 study from St. Louis University, taking a DHEA supplement with calcium and vitamin D can significantly improve spinal bone density in older women. The results also showed that, or suggested at least, that using DHEA can be as effective as other well-known therapies, including estrogen, which is given for osteoporosis, and the bisphosphonate drugs. And of course, you don't have to deal with the toxicity, especially the bisphosphonates. The bisphosphonates are nasty, nasty drugs. Fosamax, Boniva, those are really nasty drugs. They can cause digestive issues, eye issues, the death of the jawbone called, uh, known as jaw osteonecrosis that affects up to 6% of bisphosphonate patients. When you use DHA to build bones, you get all the wonderful immune strengthening cognitive and muscle building, anti-aging, general health benefits that we've been discussing, and you don't get any, you get no uh, side effects or toxicity. And this makes one wonder, by the way, the fact that DHEA is so important for bone building, it makes, us, makes one wonder if osteoporosis itself is not at least partially caused by a decline in DHEA levels. We know that as we get older, uh, odds, of, odds of osteoporosis increase, and we know that as we get older, our DHEA levels decrease, perhaps there is a connection. Perhaps osteoporosis is, like I say, at least partially a DHEA deficiency. We know osteoporosis is certainly not a bisphosphonate deficiency. And by the way, this study from St. Louis University also points to an interesting relationship between DHEA and vitamin D. Both DHEA and vitamin D are happy time substances. They're growth inducing substances. They're summertime substances, at least in the case of vitamin D, which is a sunshine vitamin. Both of them induce development and growth. They both tell the body it's time to build, it's time to grow, it's time to repair. They support brain health. Both of these substances are just general health inducing substances. Vitamin D is ridiculously important. And as we've said so many times on this program, it is not a vitamin. It is a hormone. We call it a vitamin because when it was first discovered, we didn't really know much about vitamins. We didn't even know much about hormones for that matter. Today, we know vitamin D is not just a helper. It turns things on itself. Vitamins help. Hormones turn things on themselves. They're way, way, way more powerful and important. Well, at least more powerful than the vitamins. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. All right, we're back on the bright side. Got a full board of open lines for you. Actually, got an open board for you. 
nobody's on the line. So now, if you uh, if you've been if you tried to get them uh, get on board here uh, at uh, 844-236-6010, now is your chance. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, we can help you out. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we'll get your calls here in the bottom of the hour. If you want to check out. Uh, the longevity products, head over to criticalhealthnews.com, brightsideben.com, or pharmacistben.com. And you can also take a look at our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. And I also encourage you to take a look at our new, our, uh, our health, uh, health product store, brightsidehealth.com, brightsidehealth.com. Got some interesting products. I'm always looking for interesting products, and I've got a, a few of them. One of the... Uh, the one I'm most proud about is our bone broth protein that was formulated by Jordan Rubin. It's made with all of the uh, all of the aminos that you'll find in bone broth. Plus, it's got hyaluronic acid in it, a bunch of hyaluronic acid. So as you're doing your protein, you're also going to get HA. Hyaluronic acid is a somewhat expensive supplement if you're going to buy it supplementally, but you'll get a whole bunch of it per serving, 600 milligrams per serving of, the, of our new bone broth protein. And you can find out all about that at brightsidehealth.com. Okay, so we're talking DHEA and vitamin D. There's a very interesting relationship between DHEA or between vitamin D and DHEA, between vitamin D and really all the steroid hormones. Remember, vitamin D is a building substance. It's a summertime substance. It's a happy time substance, and the steroid hormones likewise are summertime substances and building substances and growth and repair substances, at least, at least some of them. Vitamin D requires a healthy liver and a healthy kidney. It's actually activated in the liver and the kidneys. That means if you're one of the 100 million Americans dealing with fatty liver disease or you have a kidney, or you're dealing with kidney issues, kidney health issues, you may have vitamin D problems even if you're taking vitamin D. And if you're not getting vitamin D in supplements or from the sun, your hormones, your steroid hormones might be suffering. Sunshine vitamin D is by far and away the best form of vitamin D. Make no mistake about it. Any, and I hear medical professionals and even skin health professionals saying, oh, well, you can supplement with vitamin D and you can eat your vitamin D, all of which is true. But the kind you get from the sun is by far and away the most important and most powerful form of vitamin D. Vitamin D and DHA are also related by the mineral sulfur. Both require sulfation. They both require attachment with sulfur. Sulfur makes vitamin D more water soluble, so it can travel around the body more effectively. Sulfur makes DHEA more water soluble. You may have seen something called DHEAS on your lab tests. If you've had a lab test done, DHEAS. That S stands for sulfur. It's a specialized form of DHEA that travels, like vitamin D, travels through the body more effectively once it has sulfur attached to it. Same with cholesterol. Sulfated vitamin D, sulfated DHEA, sulfated cholesterol, these are all more water soluble. Sulfur makes things more water soluble. And uh, sulfur is developed or is, is produced, actually sulfation, it's not just sulfur, it's sulfur and oxygen, but this molecule that makes everything more water soluble, makes, makes cholesterol more water soluble, makes vitamin D more water soluble makes DHEA more water soluble. This molecule, this water solubilizing molecule, comes from the sun. Yes, sunshine. Sunshine increases the amount of this water soluble sulfur. Just another reason why you want to be enjoying regular sun exposure, regular. You don't want to burn and you want to make sure you're using anti-nutrient burner, uh, anti-nutrient, uh, uh, I'm sorry, anti-burning nutrients. You want to make sure you're using anti-burning nutrients, vitamin C, vitamin E, NAC, selenium. But you, uh, you'd be well advised to make sure you're getting 10 or 15 minutes of sunshine every day. More active vitamin D comes from the sun. More active cholesterol comes from the sun. More active DHEA comes from the sun. And by the way, DHEA can also help protect your skin from burning. In addition to its anti-wrinkle effects and anti-collagen effects, DHEA can help accelerate the healing of burnt skin. According to a 1995 article in the journal Endocrinology, DHEA helps protect and improve the production, or the, uh, the pro uh, helps protect and improve the healing of experimentally burnt uh, skin. Basically, the blood vessels underneath burned skin respond positively to the application of DHEA cream in this pro-healing fashion. Not surprising, given all of DHEA's wonderful healing benefits. If you have one, one, one take-home message, we talked about DHEA now for a couple of weeks, and we're, we're going to wind this thing down here today, and then we're going to move on to the ketogenic diet. 
which is how this whole conversation about steroid hormones started several months ago, probably. If uh, you want to take one, if, there, if there's one major take home message about DHEA that you want to leave with, it's this DHEA is good stuff. You need the stuff. You don't want to go crazy with it because it is a hormone, but you need it if you're older. If you're younger, not so much, but uh, over the age of 40, it is really, really, really helpful stuff. So many benefits to DHEA. It's hard to understand why it's not more, more popular. In addition to the skin benefits, the bone building benefits, the youth promoting benefits, the female health benefits, DHEA can also help you if you're dealing with viral issues, HIV, hepatitis C. It's because one of the most important functions of DHEA is, is to strengthen the immune system. You may be able to get some of these antiviral effects if you're dealing with shingles or cold sores. DHEA stimulates the production of growth hormone and something called IGF-1, which is kind of like a marker for muscle building and tissue building. DHEA, as we said a lot, it's important for the brain. It can help cognitive function for, uh, for elderly folks who are just dealing with being forgetful a little bit or if they're dealing with something as severe as dementia. In my opinion, anyone dealing with Alzheimer's dementia should be given DHEA, at least 10 milligrams a day. DHA also has antidepressant properties. In a 1995 article in the New York uh, New York's uh, Journal of Sciences, found that administration of DHA to suppressed patients resulted in a significant improvement in depression scores measured by something called the BH Global Depression Scale. One last thing I want to say about uh, DHA is if you are concerned about the side effects. And the side effects of DHEA involve their increasing the production of estrogen and testosterone. So if you had cancer and you don't want to deal with uh, producing too much estrogen or excess estrogen, I don't know necessarily that's going to happen, but that's one of the knocks on DHEA. Also testosterone, if you bump up your testosterone levels too much, you may go into some male some hair loss or male pattern baldness, or if you're a woman, maybe some body hair. This is the knock on DHEA. I haven't seen it too much. I have seen some breakouts. Actually, I've never seen, I've never seen uh, uh, hair loss, but I've seen some breakouts from people or oily skin. If you want to, if you want to leverage or take advantage of the power of DHEA, but you don't want to go into any of the side effects, you can get something called Seven Keto DHEA, which is a derivative of DHEA that gives you a lot of the same benefits, with the possible exceptions of the ones that involve sexuality and libido. But you get some, a lot of the other immune boosting benefits and the weight loss benefits and the, and the blood sugar control benefits and the brain, uh, brain health benefits because, uh, with 7 Keto because they're basically the same thing except for a tiny little tweak that keeps the DHEA from being converted into, into, sex, uh, into the sex hormones. That makes it helpful for women who are, want, to, want to try the DHEA, but they're concerned about facial hair or, or perhaps if they've had an estrogenic cancer. Usually, uh, I want to emphasize, usually side effects to DHEA do not occur. And I'm not really sure that 7-Keto is worth the price. It's a lot more expensive than DHEA, but... And it's also harder to find than DHA. But if you really want to go all out with DHA, but you're concerned about any of the side effects, go 7 Keto DHA. And I think that's all I want to say about DHA. 844 236 6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. We are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Of course, you can purchase longevity products from brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. And uh, you can purchase our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. We'll get your calls here momentarily at 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you. Hang on if you're on hold. We'll get to you here in just a moment. A couple interesting stories I want to tell you about. Sulfa, selenium deficiency. Lots of stuff about selenium in the news uh, over the last couple of months. Selenium deficiency linked to deadly heart disease affecting pregnant women. Selenium is one of the all-time great cardio health minerals. Lots of minerals are important for the heart. Magnesium is important for the heart. Zinc is important for the heart. Sulfur is important for the heart. Selenium is also important for the heart. And selenium and sulfur, by the way, work together. They're found in foods together, particularly foods like garlic, uh, foods like uh, uh, garlic and onions. And selenium and sulfur are two very, very powerful uh, medicinal minerals. 
And both selenium and sulfur are deficient, believe it or not, uh, in the standard American diet. Sulfur, it's very odd that sulfur would be deficient in the standard American diet because it's found in so many food sources, eggs, onions, garlic, dark leafy green vegetables, meats are all good sources of sulfur. But it turns out that sulfur deficiency is not uncommon. And lots of people think, given sulfur's role in making cholesterol and vitamin D and DHA more water soluble, that sulfur deficiency is a cause of a lot of health problems. MSM sulfur, use MSM sulfur. And use your ultimate selenium to make sure you're getting selenium. Here's something interesting. Drinking milk can prevent garlic breath. According to a study in the Journal of Food Sciences, both fat-free and whole milk lowered the concentration of odor-emitting compounds from garlic in the mouth. Whole milk was found to be more effective, but both uh, whole milk and fat-free milk work. Garlic, of course, is a wonderful, incredible uh, vegetable. Is it a vegetable? I think it's a vegetable, root vegetable. Low selenium levels linked to uh, liver cancer development. Low selenium and cancer, this one just came out a couple of weeks ago. A new study from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition show that the highest levels of selenium were, lower, were associated with decreased risks of developing liver cancer. These days, liver disease is a major health challenge. Your ultimate selenium is one of the most important mineral supplements that you can use if you're interested in taking care of your liver. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number, and looks like we got Ronnie Esposito from Ancient Nutrition on the air. What's up, Ronnie? Good morning. Good morning, Ben. How are you? Good to talk to you. We're going to talk some bone broth protein here. Yes, we are. Now, this is Jordan Rubin's product. You can get it uh, at brightsidehealth.com, brightsidehealth.com. Did, did Jordan actually formulate this? He did. He, um, he had a couple of issues with his knee and went to a couple of chiropractors, nutritionists, and they put him through a, a, a protocol that involved bone broth protein. But the problem, as you may know, Jordan travels all over the country every day of the week, so he had to bring frozen bone broth with him, and it wasn't very convenient. So that's whenever the, uh, the brain waves started to flow, and the product was created about two months ago as a result of that. Well, I've been doing it now for a month or so, maybe more, maybe five weeks or so, and the stuff is absolutely awesome. Delicious. Uh, I can tell that uh, it helps improve joint health. I had a little uh, problem with my knee, and I noticed that it's gone away almost 100% since I started on the bone broth protein. Within a week or so, it started to improve. And uh, it turns out that the bone broth protein is not just a source of protein. It's also a source of proteoglycans, right? C glucosamine, chondroitin, hyaluronic acid. And that's probably what's doing, that's probably why it's working on the joints. So in other words, you don't have to deal necessarily with doing the whole bone broth thing. You can actually use the bone broth protein and get a lot of the same advantages, correct? Absolutely. It's, um, it's, it's a convenient superfood, basically, Ben. And I, I know that Jordan's going to be on your show here next Wednesday. You guys can talk scientifically for sure. He has a, a boatload of information to share. But it is one of those foods that when I'm traveling, it's definitely in my bag. And it's something that... Um, no matter what flavor you choose, you're getting the benefits of two and a half cups of bone broth in one scoop of powder wow. that you can mix with anything from a smoothie to just plain water, or you can throw it in your coffee and supercharge it. Very nice. All right, man. Thanks for thanks for calling in. Appreciate it, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, Ben. Have a Take great care, day. Take care, Ronnie. Okay, bye-bye. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. Let's go to Minneapolis and welcome Bob to the bright side. What's up, Bob? Good morning, Ben. Good morning hey, to you. Uh, ben, uh, I got two separate questions, one on 7-Keto, one on uh, tonsils. I'll start with 7-Keto. Okay. Um, in addition to what you said today about 7-Keto, uh, is it true that 7-Keto, as a, the way I understand it, is a derivative of the DHEA, um, it's more readily uploaded into the cells of the body, therefore, even though maybe it's a little more expensive, uh, it's more efficient, therefore maybe cost-effective? I'm not sure of that. Did, you know that for a fact, or are you asking me? I'm not I'm sure asking, that it's handled. I, I don't think so. I was asking you. you I don't, don't think so? No, I don't think it's going to be handled by, by cells differently than seven. I, I don't think it's going to enter into a cell more efficiently. I have to look into that, but I haven't heard that. Uh, so I, I'm not sure necessarily if, that's an, if that counts as an advantage. I know that the folks that I've seen on 7-Keto haven't really noticed the difference between DHEA and 7-Keto. I think the major benefit is uh, the major benefit is that you don't have the sex hormone stuff. You know, DHA gets, okay. gets converted to testosterone and, and estrogen, but you know what? Some people may want the DHA to get converted into testosterone. 
you know, especially bodybuilders, yeah. or if you're taking it for sexual reasons, for erectile dysfunction, uh, you may want that, the increase in testosterone. I, I say use the regular, in my opinion, use the regular stuff, see what happens. If you're really concerned about too much estrogen because you've had estrogenic cancer, it, I think it's very unlikely that using DHA is going to bump up your estrogen that much. But if you want to be absolutely sure, that's that's the, pretty much the only time, in my opinion, to use 7-keto. I will look into that. I hadn't heard that, and I don't, I don't recall ever reading anything like that about how well a cell uses the DHA or 7-keto versus the regular DHA. I'll look into that. But the main, the main issue is no conversion into male or female sex hormones. Hormones. That's the major, major benefit of 7-Keto. Okay, okay. Uh, my second question is uh, tonsils, and that's, um, I've heard you say in the past, a good analogy of a tonsil is like a garbage can for the immune system. Basically. Um, okay. Now, and of course, I understand from your program that the immune system, 80% of it's in the gut. That's correct. Okay. Uh, my question is, um, you know, obviously, uh, it, I get, you know, you don't want to lose any of your parts of your body you want to keep it all what you've been yes sir because it all works together yes sir but now if that's a garbage can i mean i guess my question is why don't you uh, take you know, out the garbage, garbage are you saying you don't you don't take out the garbage can you take out the garbage right the problem isn't garbage. the can you need the can you know what i'm saying you don't throw out the garbage can you throw out the garbage well, and so my, my, oh, go sorry. ahead go ahead well my my question is is that you know, as a child, uh, I had my tonsils taken out because um, my tonsils got to a point where they were so pitted, yeah. I could take penicillin, and I'd feel better while I was on the penicillin. But as soon as I was off, I was yeah. back to uh, swollen tonsils to the point where I couldn't swallow. And yeah. after that happened repeatedly, they just took them out. That's, Was there that's something right. that could have been done? Also, no, um, you know, you know once it's... That? The problem is with the tonsils, they're, so, they're located so close to where you breathe that you can it can block your airway that's the big problem so yeah there i'm not saying there's not times you need your tonsils taken out i'm saying the, the way to deal with it is to take care of the lymphatic system before the tonsils which are part of the lymph before the tonsils get so swollen that they're blocking your airways hang on uh, bob i want to take a commercial we'll finish up when we come back so don't go away i'm pharmacist ben got lines open for you 844-236-6010 is our number you're listening to the bright side we'll be back right after this Lines open 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Check out our Truth, Truth, uh, Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. You can check out the longevity products at brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. And also now you can take a look at our Brightside Health products at brightsidehealth.com, including Jordan Rubin's bone broth protein, which I am proud to say that I'll be carrying, at brightsidehealth.com. Okay, uh, let's see. 844-236-6010 is our number. Bob in Minneapolis. We're talking about the tonsils. You there, Bob? Yes, I am. Okay, so the tonsils are part of the immune system. Taking the tonsils out is not a great thing, but sometimes you may need that. Uh, but really, the issue is living. The, uh, it's how we live our lives, you know. The, the tonsils produce antibodies. They're part of your defense system. I don't think it's a good idea to take it out unless you absolutely have to. But, you know, uh, you got to do what you got to do. The idea of, 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 of taking care of the tonsils involves as the child is living his life, staying away from dairy if that's a problem, looking for food allergies, looking for anything that triggers digestive issues, or if the kid's got ear infections or eczema or, or asthma issues, linking those conditions to problem foods and then eliminating those foods that's really the way you want to you know you want to be proactive rather than uh, retroactive after the problem's already there taking the tonsils out in my opinion does that help yeah and how, how much does it impact your immune system by having them removed you know I, I i can only guess but it's not a good thing i don't i don't know percentage wise or anything like that I and mean, you could live a good long life with without your tonsils that's for sure but how how it's related to to your odds of getting other immune other immune diseases or other immune health conditions i don't know but just logic tells you that you don't you're taking out a part of your immune system you're going to be more susceptible how much i can't tell you that okay okay i appreciate it ben sure take care man thanks for calling yeah, thanks Yep. All right. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Cindy in Minnesota, welcome to the bright side. Hi, Ben. How are you? I'm good. What's going on in Minnesota? Where are you in Minnesota, by the way? Uh, just um, northwest suburb of Minneapolis. Have I met you? Have you and I met? No, I just found your program um, okay. recently on the, on the radio, and I am just so thankful. I learn something new every day when oh, I'm awesome. here. So. 
That's the that's the that's the best compliment I can get because I learn oh. I learn new stuff every day too. I like to share it. <laughs> yeah. If, well, I'm, I'm calling about my daughter who's 11. Um, she was diagnosed with leaky gut and candida, um, and also we found she has an amoeba parasite. We went through um, what's called a pathogen purge with the systemic formulas, and. Um, We've really just cut out sugar, grains, and processed foods for the Good past eight or nine months. How's she doing? But I, I think she's doing fine. Um, I just, we're working with, um, I believe that there's a digestion issue still, though. Okay. Um, and she's got, she needs to lose some weight, and I just feel like she's got a belly. And she's how, not how, how, uh, how, what's your height to weight? I'm sorry? What is her height to weight? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think she's four nine, and she's about one thirty. So she could stand to lose about twenty five pounds. You're thinking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, here's the deal. It all is related, and it's related to probably to the starting first and foremost with the gut bacteria. She has a history of leaky okay. gut and a history of of uh, absorption issues. The chances are really good that she's got a bacterial issue. Now you said she's got candida, okay. and that also implies that she's got a bacterial issue. So I'd be focusing first and foremost on the health of the intestine, particularly when it involves gut bacteria. More fiber for one, okay? okay. You have her doing veggie juices. She may not like them, but she doesn't have an option at this point, in my opinion. Okay. So veggie juices, just you got a Vitamix at home? We have a blend tech. We she does like smoothies. I try to sneak not smoothies. In. I didn't say smoothies. I said vegetable juices. Smoothies you got to be very okay. careful with. Okay, vegetable okay. juices where you take vegetables and water. Period. Just okay. vegetables and water. You throw them out. I'm not familiar familiar with the blend tech, but I assume it does the same thing a Vitamix does, right? It, it does. You, the, yep. the key is the fiber. With a juicer, you don't get the fiber, and the fiber is extremely important for not only the health and integrity of the intestine, but also for the bacteria. The bacteria eat the fiber, and they release these incredibly important compounds that help suppress the appetite, that help strengthen the gut, that are important for brain health. I mean, they're just remarkable, remarkable substances. They're called SCFAs or short chain fatty acids. We've talked about them in the past. And f the way the body gets them is from the action of these bacteria and the fibers. So making sure she's eating a lot of fiber, you can also use fermented veggies. And again, these aren't foods necessarily that an 11 year old's gonna like to eat, but at this point, she really, yeah. you really gotta encourage her to do it. She doesn't have a lot, you know, she's setting yourself up for a lousy adulthood here if you don't nip right. this in the bud okay yeah uh she probably loves sugar all kids do all of us love sugar so what you want to yeah. do is you want to wean her away from the sugar and that includes bread and pasta and potatoes and rice and cereals and yeah. you know bagels etc uh, that's going to really mess up the gut and get her into more protein don't try to have her willpower or, or will her way through get her into more protein kids need protein and under when they're not getting enough protein they're going for the sugar we're all doing it but especially kids because they're really going through the protein so sugar cravings mean protein deficiencies generally speaking is a couple of BCAAs every day or maybe half a teaspoon of glutamine and that will help. Of course, probiotic supplements, that goes without saying. I would get her on the best one I could find. Uh, I like Personally, I like the Biolumin Nightly Essence. Uh, I would have her drink in distilled water, by the way, as opposed to tap water as much as possible. Is she on? Okay. Is she t doing antibiotics at all? No. Okay, good. Uh, and then fermented foods, you know, sauerkraut, miso, tempeh, but also uh, if she can do yogurt, that'll help. Kefir. Sometimes kids have problems, and she may with dairy. So you got to be a little bit careful with the dairy, uh, the dairy-based uh, um, fermented foods. And then, uh, last but not least. You got to have her relaxing the body, making sure she's relaxing. Under conditions of sympathetic overdrive, it's going to be very difficult for her to lose the weight. If you're having, this is true for everybody listening, if you're having a problem losing weight and you're trying everything you can do, but you still can't lose the weight, consider that you got an adrenal gland problem from too much stress. And that leads to hypothyroidism. And she very well is, is dealing with both of these issues. So uh, once you've taken care of the physiology, the, the physiologic things, you also want to deal with mental and emotional strategies to have them relaxing. Deep breathing is a great way to get her to do deep breathing. A little bit of exercise if she's not already. You know, kids kids a lot of times are, but sometimes they're not. So getting her out there and, and playing and, and um, raising her metabolism and, and increasing her muscle mass that, or helping support the development of muscle mass anyway, that can have a 
a beneficial effect too. So between probiotics, adrenal health issues, stabilizing the blood sugar, making sure she's relaxing and, and getting a little bit of exercise, that should take care of your problem. Uh, if you want a couple other real quickies for leaky gut, and this is true for, for anybody who's dealing with leaky gut, you can also do the bone broth protein. Now, several reasons for that. Number one, protein is very important for rebuilding in general, but the bone broth protein has got glucosamine and chondroitin and hyaluronic acid, all of which can be very helpful for rebuilding the, the connective tissue component of the intestine. And when you have leaky gut, that's where the problem is. So I, you might want to try the okay. bone broth protein as well. Okay. okay. Anything else okay. going on? And yeah. No coconut oil. No, oh, no love oil. this stuff. Love, 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 love coconut oil. So many reasons. We do, but, we yeah. do, um, we do, she likes vegetables, um, sauteed in coconut oil. She do it. eat that. Oh, yeah. That's delicious. And make sure you put lots of salt on there or, or, uh, Celtic sea salt, I should say. Not table salt. Not, not Morton's, but Celtic sea salt or Himalayan salt. You get the, you'll get all the minerals salt. in there. Yep. Yeah, and, and you're absolutely right on. When you when you braise Brussels sprouts or, or steam broccoli in coconut oil, I like a little butter in there too. It is just, it's like the best snack you could ever have. It's so tasty yeah. and so delicious. Even kids, even kids like it. And the coconut oil is unbelievably valuable for kids who have, or for anybody, not just kids, but anybody who has digestive health issues. That's because when you have a digestive problem, you don't utilize fats correctly. It's harder for the body to utilize fats. And MCT go right to work. They don't have to get processed by the digestive system the same way regular fats do, and you can get energized. So a little bit of coconut oil in the middle of the day or in the morning can give you quick energy. If you're trying to lose weight, a little bit of coconut oil is very satisfying. It helps generate those short-chain fatty acids that we talked about, and short-chain fatty acids, in addition to being very important for the mood, are also appetite suppressants. So coconut oil is a great diet food, and we're going to spend, uh, Cindy, you might want to listen next week because we're going to spend a lot of time talking about the ketogenic diet diet and MCTs from coconut oil are extremely friendly for the ketogenic diet. I am a fan of coconut oil. It's so a good job on that. Great. All right. Okay. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Good luck with your daughter. I hope everything works out for you. Appreciate your call. Thank you so much. Thanks. Okay. Bye -bye. Thank you. All right. So that's the end of the program, folks. We're, uh, we'll be back next, next Monday. If you are on Monday, if you didn't get through or if you, uh, if you have, of course, any questions or health challenges, you can also email me, Ben at KSCO.com, Ben at KSCO.com. Make sure you take a look at our Truth Treatments page, truthtreatments.com, especially our retinol 5% gel. And if you're interested in Jordan Rubin's bone broth protein, tasty stuff. I've been using it now for five weeks. It is good stuff. Head over to brightsidehealth.com. And if you want to join me on my mission to help educate and change the world via nutritional supplementation, please call 866-735-2470. Tell them you want to be part of the Right Side Ben team. We can do this together, folks. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.